What's up everyone? Welcome to today's vlog. I'm getting ready to head out to the game store. I got a few boxes of stuff with me. There's one, there's another one in the trunk. Uh, just more game store inventory that I haven't taken yet, so why not? Um, I'm not planning on stopping anywhere else, although I am very, very thirsty and I don't have much at the store. I also should probably stop and get some food because I don't have anything left. So I'll see you guys at the store in just a bit. I got the two Master System controllers in from Mook Gender, and unfortunately this one, the D-pad doesn't work when you press to go right, it only works going left. So the other one worked perfect, so I got that in here, got the Master System hooked up, so I need one more controller. Hey guys, so Kevin was here earlier finishing up his discs and uh, he looked at that Led Zeppelin album and he said unfortunately his player at home is like not working currently so he was gonna take it home to listen to the entire thing and just keep track of like any pops or anything like that um, but he's not able to do that so I'm gonna have to bring my equipment here and then he'll come listen to it here which is fine because I need to bring that stuff anyway so we can get it set up so that I can play music in here be very cool but yeah uh, we got a couple trade-ins today I, I, I don't know if I showed you guys already or not um, I don't think I did actually, but somebody traded in two more of the GunCon controllers for PS2, and then they also traded in a copy of Legend of Dragoon for PS1, and Vampire Knight, or no, Ninja Assault for PS2. I already priced them and got them put out, that's why I'm not showing, to you, sh showing them to you physically. But the other trade-in that I just got was an N64 system, came with a jumper pack in it, but they also had the expansion pack, and then just cables and one controller with a kind of a loose stick. No games with that. Uh, they traded that in and used their credit to get um, Banjo-Kazooie and Diddy Kong Racing because that was an extra system that they had. So, um, so yeah, that's all the trade-ins I've had so far. Um, actually, Abby's mom stopped in, and she gave me Lego Star Wars for the Xbox, and then this little stack of, of games here. Nothing special, but... She just gave it to me all for free, which is very, very cool. Kevin also gave me a few discs here that he didn't think were worth, you know, trying to sell. So, Star Wars Phantom Menace and then Tenchu for PS1. Then also Grand Theft Auto and Destruction Derby. So, cheap titles, but who knows, I may have cases for them in the back that I'll get to eventually. We'll find out, but um, somebody is supposed to be on their way to pick up this, which is you guys saw, uh, took in the other day. Uh, so that's on hold right now. Hopefully, you know, he's still planning on coming. Um, but sales have been, been decent so far today. Not super busy, but uh, I think that I might try to post um, another couple, maybe Craigslist ads or Facebook Marketplace ads just to get a little more interest and get some more people out here today. Um, we've been consistently busy. Um, it's just that nobody has really bought anything too expensive. Uh, one guy came in and bought a white DS, DSi system, and then he also bought a cartridge copy of Pokemon Diamond. So that was a pretty good little sale there, but most of the stuff that's been selling has been cheaper. Um, one guy picked up like a big stack of magazines that were 99 cents each, so he only spent like $9. Um, sold a few plushes and a uh, few like cheaper, you know, PS2 and GameCube games and stuff like that. Um, one or two VHS and you know just some random stuff but it's going good and hopefully more people come in holy crap guys <laughs> this is the first time the store's been empty it is 6 12 p.m. I've been slammed all day I have so many trade-ins to show you guys so <sighs> it's gonna be tough there's so much stuff but let's take a look so we got these two trade-ins here we got this one here we got this one here, so let's just start over here, I guess. We got a little one. So we got Mario Bros. and the Centipede for the 7800. Then Turok Rage Wars, Blades of Steel, and Shadow Man for N64, all complete in box. Boxes are not in great condition. So uh, that's the first one. So here's the second one here. This box is mostly sports games. Nothing super special on this side. 
and then that one, of course. But then over here, we got some good stuff. And the disc only ones are actually not bad. Twisted metal one. The Robo Pit and the Future Cop are ones I'm going to be keeping for my collection. These are the other disc only ones Dino Crisis, Vigilante 8, and Twisted Metal 4. So, next up here, we got some really cheap stuff up here on top that I told them I couldn't pay anything for, and they told me to take it anyway. So, that's where the free stuff ends. So, we got World is Not Enough, Classic Games, Need for Speed, Attack 2, Ultimate. Ult Alliance, they're a little dusty, making me gasp for air. Skyrim, Clone Wars, and Tetris. Somebody was asking about this the other day, so if you're watching this video, I got one now. Final Fantasy Tactics, Nice of the Old Republic, Gauntlet 7 Sorrows, Extreme Legends, and Champions of Norath, one of my favorite PS2 games. And we got a disc only Minecraft, Mortal Kombat 2 for Genesis. Secret Agent Clank, and we have a, po a huge Pokemon Platinum guide and an Assassin's Creed 2 guide. And then, of course, with this bundle as well, I got the boxed Atari 2600, which is in really nice shape. We hooked it up, it works, it's fully complete, and I'm keeping this one for my collection. So this is the last trade here. Before I show you the games, we also got this Batman thing, and then a couple strategy guides. Pretty cool, Symphony of the Night, another Castlevania, and Enchanted Arms. There's also this big tub of just like manuals and case inserts. Uh, the only good ones, there's a couple Super Nintendo, but they're, they're not great games, but there's a lot of Genesis ones and just like PS2, PS1, PS3, stuff like that. So then onto the games. So we got a couple complete in box ones here. NFL 99, Tetris for NES, Steel Cage Challenge, I'm keeping the Steel Cage Challenge, and I think the Tetris might be a condition upgrade for me. Space Invaders for 2600. We got Samurai Showdown, Six Pack, Jeopardy, Chuck Rock 2, Lost Vikings, Rock with Modern Life, We're Back, Whoop. and some disc only stuff here. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. This is discs 1 and 2, and the Passport disc for Shinmu, but no disc 3. And Tekken 2. Wii Sports Resort, Mega Man X4, uh, Test Drive Unlimited, Sin and Punishment for the Wii, Eternal Eyes, Strider 2, unfortunately just disc only, Kingsfield 2 only disc, Full Auto 2, Devil May Cry 2, Need for Speed 2, Sly 2, Need for Speed High Stakes, Rampage, Midnight Club, Hardcore 4x4, Web Browser, and 18 Wheeler for the Dreamcast. Then we got Bionic Commando, Ghost Recon, Devil May Cry 3, that note makes me think that it's something else. Oh yeah, Devil May Cry 1 is in the case. Crisis 2, that's not a big deal though. Fuse, Civilization, Call of Juarez, Turok, sorry about the glare. Extreme G3, Batman Vengeance, Harry Potter, Final Fantasy, Lego Star Wars. Need for Speed Underground 2, Pac-Man World. I just sold one of these uh, today or last night. One Piece, Blastworks, Fling Smash, SmackDown vs. Raw, Fable, Spy vs. Spy, which is a pretty hard to find Xbox game. It's not very expensive, it's like 15 bucks, but this doesn't have a manual, unfortunately. Advent Rising, Serious Sam 2, pretty uncommon. Metal Gear Solid 2, Mass Effect 2, and Earth Defense Force, Insect Armageddon. So, Pretty cool trade-ins so far. Um, getting a little crowded back here, but uh, store's finally empty, so I have a little bit of time to go through these things. And I'm gonna try and get as much entered into the, you know, into the inventory system as I can before more people start coming in, but sales have been really, really good today. I'm almost already at where I was at for sales yesterday, and yesterday was pretty good. So it's only 6, 6.20, and I've already hit yesterday's total sales, so that's pretty good. So hopefully more people come in and we'll just see what happens. All right guys, I am home now and I'm super tired. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here in a bit uh, so that I can get to editing. 
Um, as soon as I got home, Abby took the car to get to work. She left, like, maybe a minute and a half after I got home. And uh, working at the store and having, like, an opposite schedule from her is really tough, but I think we're doing a pretty good job. We're not, like, you know, ready to kill each other or anything. We're still, we're still doing all right. Um, and having her come to the store with me on her days off is really, really awesome. Gives us a chance to spend some good time together since we don't really see each other much, you know, for the rest of the week. But, uh, eventually she'll start working at the store, which will be really, really good. That'll also give me some extra time to focus on eBay and Amazon stuff and, you know, do all that. So that's going to be good. I'm looking forward to that, but... That's probably going to do it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, please do not forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow.